What molten salt reactors offer is what even cutting-edge water-cooled reactors like AP1000 can't. Molten salt reactors produce more than just electricity. Molten salt reactors can be used in two ways. So they can be used as a form of electricity generation where it's being attached to the grid. And there are no constraints as to where you can site it. You don't even need it to be near water, which is often a constraint with existing nukes. So you can put it anywhere, really. So if there's a coal-fired power station that's running down, put your molten salt reactor at that point, and there's already the grid you need. So you're just swapping out the source of electricity. The grid's already there. And I think, you know, that's a perfectly viable way for it to go. But I think then also there's heat for industrial uses. You might actually see that come forward first, where these reactors are being sited at, on industrial complexes to provide heat, because there aren't that many sources of low-carbon cheap heat.